hello there and uh, welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Lanka and I'm grateful that you're here with me now I know that we're talking about something very serious today because dating is one of the most essential parts of life this you can't afford to miss this you can't afford to make a mistake because many people out there are suffering and having issues that they cannot even imagine because they dated wrongly they didn't have the information that is necessary to date properly or they ignored some red flags or they just didn't know unfortunately they found themselves in a place that they don't like anymore now when we talk about um, dating we are talking about a time when you are in a relationship with, with a person okay not exactly a relationship when you are evaluating somebody I mean evaluating, considering, assessing a person that is a woman or a man so that you can see whether they fit to be in a relationship with you and especially a relationship that would uh, lead it to marriage and settling in a lifetime together. So when you're talking about dating, these are not children's games. These are not the funny things that are happening out there, just people running around uh, in, from one house to the other and having rampant sex all over and thinking that they have made it in life. No, we are talking about you being a mature, responsible person who is ready to get into a relationship so that you can settle down in marriage. So if you're looking at this and thinking about uh, just having fun, this is not a place for you. We are talking about dating with an understanding that one, we are mature, stable people who have a vision, who are working, who are not beggars and all the time asking for money and stuff and favors and stuff like that. We are talking about mature, responsible person and knowing that you can be taken that is a person can come into your life be taken but not seriously of course taken for granted and that is what we are really avoiding and that is what we are calling dating blindly dating without any information dating without any substantial information and that is what we are looking at today so that we can all together avoid it i thought what i'm married i'm happily married and i dated i had my uh, ups and downs in the, in the arena of dating and now i can comfortably tell a person if you hear this this is valid or this is not invalid so i will keep giving information from my own personal experience from what i've read and what i have seen working from people who have had marriages that one are godly and marriages that are working and marriages that are going far where people are not bearing with one another but people are living together happily and they love each other even in this era where people most people uh, believe that our love is a scam marriage is a scam no there is a truth that there are people out there living their lives comfortable and well being in love and knowing how to be treated as a king or queen because they've experienced the real meaning of love so uh, let's go together and discuss the things that would make you be taken but not taken seriously taken for granted uh, to be very very sincere with you or to share just about something a person would take you for granted if one you do not have a vision you don't have a life yourself that is you don't have a vision you don't have a dream you don't have values you don't have anywhere that you're going with your life people will come in and direct you and put you any 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 anywhere they want because as an individual as a person whether you're a man or a woman you do not have a vision or a dream something purposeful that you're doing with your life and again, when I say that, I mean you're a person who has boundaries, a person who has information, they know where they are going, a person who has a big vision that they want to fulfill and are running towards it with discipline, with everything that they got, they want to achieve that dream. So if you do not have a dream as a person or a vision or you're, 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 you're jobless, there's, I don't mean that you're temporarily out of a job, I mean you do not have any source of income, your life is entire 
scatters. You're not together financially, spiritually, physically. You're just out. Then many people will take you for granted because one, you're readily available and you do not have value for your life. So anybody can put uh, If you do not have boundaries at all what you stand for, then trust me, you you will be taken for granted. I saw a friend of mine who was uh, 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 was describing a scenario in their life where they wanted dated a married man. And I will be very clear with this because they didn't even know that he was married. He was living alone. I, the wife was uh, back at, uh, uh, at, the, uh, uh, at the place where they were staying. But he had a house in the city and was working and stuff like that, but never told this girl that he was married. It's a long story short, but I'll cut it and just say when the girl confronted the guy and asked whether they were married, the guy said that the girl did not ask. So dating means asking a lot of questions. Asking a lot of questions to be sure so that your evaluation is not limited by what you do not know. Ask these people, are they married? Ask these people, do they have children? Ask these people. People are doing funny things in this life. I tell you, people are doing funny things. And if there is one era, area in life that you don't want funny things in your life, is in the marriage area. If somebody has baggage, you rather know that they already have either a child or things that they cannot hide. Or whether they are married ask ask please ask please ask look at them in their eyes and tell them are you married so you can know and not get yourself into that and then uh, if the person you're considering or the person you're dating makes unreasonable excessive demands please watch out be on the lookout because People can take you for granted because they are not serious. They just want to mess up, with, uh, to mess your life. They just want to have fun. They are going nowhere and they will tag along with you. If you see a person who makes unreasonable demands that are out of, uh, that, that, that are not uh, accordance to what is expected. For example, if you're dating, you're dating purely. You're not indulging with this person sexually. It is out of discussion. You're not, you're not going that direction. I know you may look at me and wonder where did this woman come from? Yes, I know. When it comes to purity when you're dating people, I know the destruction, the destruction it has caused on many people. So I can confidently say that you date purely. So when you see a person who uh is 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 um you are looking at them and you're together just considering each other but they are making unreasonable demands like come to my place and make sure that it is clean come and wash my clothes come and and also another one make my hair give me money to buy credit i need to go to this place those people there is a very big possibility in fact it's not a very big possibility those people are not ready for marriage and they are not ready for a relationship please on to your marks get ready go run exit just get out and go don't get entanglements in at the beginning of your life when you're supposed to be going forward don't get entangled in things that people will entertain in their life don't go to a man's place or a woman's place and they tell you please do this and in the first place why are you visiting their place alone you know those will, will be situations that will make you compromise and in this place we are talking about dating with purity we base our relationships on god and when god says that a fornication is not allowed that is premarital sex then we are basing on that so you're not going anywhere with this person privately so you're not even going to their house alone you and them alone so when we talk about unreasonable demands, you're talking about people asking you for things that you're not able to do or you're able to do, but you can't do them because you are not their wife and you're not their husband. If this person is not able to get airtime, if this person is not able to make their hair, if this person is not able to afford food, then what kind of a life are they having? Please ask yourself before you entangle yourself with this kind of person. Make sure that whatever you're getting into, you understand very clearly because you will be taken, but taken for granted.
certain and that will hurt that will pain that may make you even dysfunctional in your life because you never dated properly you might get even traumas from there uh, mistrust issues you might not even be able to trust people because you've seen people who have come out saying no uh, there's nobody who can be trusted or people are liars it started from a foundation of a person who did not uh, who encountered another person who did not understand what trust means and they betrayed them or they did things that were unform uh, unfathomable or they did things that were very hurtful and it had to end like that so please be on the lookout take care uh, when a person that you're dating or a person you're seeing has tendencies of possessiveness you've just met this person and uh, you're just getting to know each other but they are all over you the one they are calling you the love of my life add solution and it happens but many times you have to get to learn who this person is so that you can be able to after a period of time you can be able to make a sober judgment we are talking about a person who is excessively possessive and will want to one um, make sure that they control uh, is possessiveness and controlling they want to be all over you like they want to have your phone have all your passwords have uh, know where you live know where you are at whatever time that you are then this person is not mature enough to handle a relationship you are a grown-up and that is the bottom line that, that that is the bottom line that is what we are here for to talk about about dating but in a mature proper way that is uh, is not um, is not being pushed by a person who doesn't have even self-control a person who is just excessively possessive and will not stand anything we want to know if in by any chance anyway uh, they missed your call and you haven't called them they are all going bananas because maybe you missed a call or something that could happen if you're working if you're busy people then it could happen here and they're not all the time but these things could happen then people need to give you or the person that you're dating needs to give you uh, an allowance to be a grown-up and that is one mistake that many people uh, many people do you take it uh, you, you're just being taken for a ride you're being taken for granted but you don't see this person is too possessive even your inner conscious can tell you there's something wrong about this but most people convince themselves no I'm, I'm the one who has a problem especially if you're dating blindly or you're desperate dating sorry to say that but many people out there are really really at the point of desperation so they will take any kind of garbage just because they want to be in a relationship and they don't want to be uh, in a relationship with people who are stable upstairs and people who know what they are doing and where they are going even as we come to a close over the discussion that we are having today, those are just a few things that we've been able to look at and see what would you see and be able to judge and gauge and tell that I'm being taken for granted. Yeah, I'm just being taken for a ride. This person is not serious. This person is not in for it. And you can be able to see by the many things that uh, a person is able to portray and people don't hide for a long time. It will come out. It will just naturally come out so that's why we say take your time don't run marriage you don't need to keep running there it has its own challenges already so you don't have to carry other more baggages into into the into this uh, scenario please be prepared be sober be very very prepared and be vigilant watch out for your life because we've seen people who've been destroyed completely destroyed gone into depression or even worse lost their lives because they got into relationships some of the times it starts with improper uh, dating not always but most of the time you will see that maybe you are able to see a few red flags here and there but then you convince yourself no I know I know he loves me I know she loves me you see a lot of unstable characters but then you just convince yourself because again you are desperate desperately dating or dating blindly so you don't want to open your eyes fully and see what it is and <clears throat> and call it as it is but you want to cover it up this is for a lifetime this is for a lifetime and you can't afford to joke or mess around with your life if you really value yourself here we talk about self-development we talk about self-care and self-care involves um 
loving yourself yourself you as an individual and when you love yourself you will not ignore red flags especially on a very serious matter like dating which will head to 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 marriage and you want to get a person who is stable a person you can be able to raise kids with a person you can be able to buy uh make investments together but if this person uh, is <clears throat> is not honest this person cannot give you information that is uh, reliable if this person is uh it cannot be traced at a point in life you can get them you you don't even know much about them then you can't really put your trust and roll and, and and say that life will cover itself or because of love you will uh you will overlook take care this is a very crucial area that you need to walk wide with your, with your eyes wide open wide open and that's why we we, we 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 say and we insist that be guided be guided on these things when you're dating be guided get a person a mature person who has a working relationship or is has a, a marriage that is working and can be able to guide you and help you and guide you in the direction that you can be able to take and make sure that you're not being taken for granted it has hurt many people millions have hurt they've said love is a scam marriage doesn't exist and is it is not true but there are people out there who can confidently say that i've enjoyed being in a relationship and in a marriage that is working and wonderfully working because they've taken uh, steps they took steps preparedness from uh, from the earlier stages they've known what they want they've known how to work on it and they've known where they want to be and the route that they will use to achieve it so if in any <clears throat> way you are dating you're getting to know somebody you are uh, assessing them you're getting to evaluate them then make sure that you consider all the things that you talked about so that you're not taken but not taken seriously taken for granted so don't uh, uh, don't just uh, joke about the dating area be very cautious be very careful be very alert and vigilant because there are so many scammers and so many people who are not serious about life and they will tag along with you if you don't watch out for your life remember to subscribe share comment down below so that we can grow our family and don't be taken for granted because you can have